All right, let's start with the hard questions, folks. Would the series be as good as the film? And I'm ready to say that, yes. If not, better. <laughs> Think whatever you want, but I'm going to break it all down to you in this review coming to you right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the series Blind Spotting, which is going to be pre premiering on Stars June 13th. Oh, man, let me tell you, I love the film. So, upon knowing that the series was coming and upon knowing that I had the opportunity to check this out, I jumped all over it. And I am very much pleased and very confidently here to say that it's fantastic and this is something you do not want to miss. For everything that the film does great, this one takes that the same essence, tone, and everything, takes that and doubles down. And it just expands the universe. We learn new characters. Uh, we get to dive deeper into the characters we know, um, get some more backstory. And then obviously, you know, the other big question is, what's up with Colin, which I'll come back to in one second. But yeah, so this one starts off in 2018, New Year's Eve, and what was going to be a, a very exciting night turned the other direction because Miles gets locked up for some drug paraphernalia and he is sentenced to five years, which now leaves Ashley and her son Ziggy to kind of navigate life on their own. So she's doing this parenting thing without him. And, you know, with that, she has to make some decisions that she probably wouldn't have made with Miles being out. I don't know, one like moving in with Miles' mother and his half-sister, Trish, who I just love, who is so charismatic, and I tell you, every second that she's on screen, I I, I am just ready for some type of comedic uh, moment, and she's just, I think she's just filled with so much charisma that, like, it, it really balances with everything that happens. Like, she's such a really good character that they added. Uh, but, yeah, so that's really much the gist of it. Um, you know, Ashley's really just trying to figure out life without Miles right now. So... Back to Colin, first of all, who was your main character in the film. Where is he? <laughs> well, look, after he went and pulled that stunt of, like, holding that cop uh, at gunpoint, you know, that's going to have some repercussions here. And I think he realized that, too. So he definitely got out of town. He's gone. That's it. Which is cool because that leaves the opportunity to, like, hey, where did he go? And when does he come back type of thing. So I love how they handled that. Um, Ashley, played by Jasmine Schaefer-Jones, Emmy Award winner, should I say. Uh, it's fantastic as your lead. She is a star. Her performance is next level. So, you know, again, for all the integrity, the, the all the integrity that the film built, it keeps that, and shall I say, takes it again and really doubles down. This feels exactly like the film, but again, it's just expanding the universe here. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Um, but... You know, let's kind of break it, break down some other things, too. Like, one, I really love the dialogue in this series. Uh, just so much culture in it and a lot of relatable uh, things being said. Even lingo, I'm just, I am just resonate with. And I also think, too, that um, it really highlights the Bay Area and its culture even more than the film did. So that's really, really good. Um, again, the same tone and essence as the film, but I think it's, it continues on, if not does it better. It does tackle um, with a bunch of societal tidbits going on in here and whatnot, but it's blended all into the show. So, like, at times there are heavy conversations, but with the uh, the comedy that's in the show, it keeps, it keeps things balanced. Like, I'm going to use the word balanced a lot because that's truly what it is. Nothing goes one way so hard that it, you know, it really takes away from what the film does, it, what the film did, shall I say. Um, but even with that being said too, Ashley does this little monologue thing where she's in the mirror. It's basically like the mirror motivation thing that Issa, Issa Rae does, um, in Insecure, where she's really like breaking down some raps and whatnot, or some speeches that, you know, tackling some things that the character's dealing with, or just some societal things and all. And again, those things are like, they're really powerful and some are really deep. But then again, that's where like the... The, the comedy comes into play and it balances it all out. Uh, and these moments too, like it, it absolutely has like that musical vibe, like, or, you know, kind of built like a stage play, 
But this is their background, you know, with uh, her having a Hamilton background and, and other people involved having that stage play background, that, that Broadway background, that it just, it, it's really DNA'd into this. Like, it was without a question, you could tell, like, the, the fingerprints of... Um, of uh, Lynn Manuel Miranda, like you, you can tell his presence in this show. So yeah, and, and and again, like it's done in such a artistic way that you just really appreciate it. For somebody who doesn't like musicals, like it's really done in a very very like relatable way too, to a point that like you're able to dissect the things that are being said, appreciate it, but still like not feeling so like. I don't know, drowned in like either sorrow or trigger for whatever the emotions that it may take you down. So like, I really do appreciate like how it's all done. Like again, the word balance here. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely some really awkward, laughable moments uh, when things get deep. So again, like for every time it tries to go that way, it brings you back that way. So which is really good. There's running gags that's, that's going on too. And then also they got these really impromptu dance moments. These these dance performances are amazing. These contortionists are like fantastic. Um, and then with the use of the neon colors and gel and the lightings and whatnot, it really gives like a really like amazing aesthetic too. And I think like the, the colors really dictate the mood and, and what's going on. And then for the moments that these do happen, I think it's just like a self-conscious thing for Ashley really depicting um, some of the things that she's thinking or the emotions or whatever it may be so like i i definitely appreciate those as well i love the new supporting characters you're gonna fall in love with uh, like i said trish is amazing there's a few other that you're just gonna easily fall in love with um so be ready to like like with colin being gone be ready to like say like you know what it's cool days god i like this person too so like yeah it's 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 no fall off with the lack of that of the character colin being on this um I, I got to say, like, if you've never seen a film and you're interested in this, like, this show is like a mixture to me of Shameless and Atlanta. Uh, and then you throw some Broadway into it and then, boom, there you go. And again, like I said, Lynn uh, manuel Miranda, you can just truly see his fingerprints involved in this. Uh, but yeah, you also, too, as far as with the gag reels, and the, the gag, the running jokes and gags are kind of going on. Like, keep your eyes glued to the background because there's, like, a lot of little random things happening that you're going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> it, is, it is so funny because it's, like, so awkward. And that's, like, where, like I said, it, it, it feels like a letter because a letter does that, which I, I really love. Speaking of love, I love episode three. I think that was my favorite. Um, And with really the showcase of, like, the culture in um, the Bay Area, I really want to get out there. Like, I, I need to experience some of these things for myself. Like, the Cali side show, I got I got to see what that's like in person. It seems so cool. Uh, but as far as with Ashley, I think the dynamic between her and Miles have really progressed in a more mature way than we see in the movie, where she was always angry at him. And even with the circumstances here of her being alone right now, she's not even angry at him. She's just kind of chilling, kind of like, okay, I just got to make do, you know? And I think that's just showing the maturity of her. So very different. And even with him being the self-conscious, we see them still trying to, um, you know, really grow together as a couple, which I appreciate. But again, you know, this show has um, really good dialogue, really heavy dialogue, talking about societal things, talking about, um, you know, things that are happening uh, in regards to the show and the character developments and the circumstances and, um, you know, just a lot of good uh, conversation that's pulled from it. And with the art involved with it and just, you know, which I would say the art is even like an expression of speech as well, too, and thought. And I think that's just really, like, powerful messages and how they're doing it in, the, in this show that um, everybody's going to be able to take something away from it. So, like, the show is this bomb, folks. I'm just going to just make it very, very plain and clear. The show is bomb. If you love the movie, you're going to love this. You don't want to miss out on it. Once you started watching, you're going to be hooked. This is fantastic, and I really, really enjoyed this. I really, really did. And I cannot wait to know what you all are going to say once you check it out. So, by all means, jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this when you do. And as always, stay tuned because we got more reviews coming very soon. So, thank you for checking out this review, folks, and I'll see you all very soon. Big up 
bell.